What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the ninth episode in Season 2 of my Buy Munich Career Mode series. Last episode I asked you whether or not we should trade Marco Royce for Gareth Bale, I gave you 24 hours to make that decision, asked you to vote in the straw poll, over 200 of you came through, and a whopping 75% of you wanted me to go ahead with that deal, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I've also made a decision to pick up Entep on a pre-contract. He's got a huge amount of pace, I feel like he'd be an awesome player to bring on from the bench. He's currently on 40 grand a week, he's asked for 110 grand, I'm going to try my luck, offer him 60 grand as a starting point and see what he says. Ntep accepted that 60 grand a week offer, so he'll be joining us for the third season. And now it's time for Gareth Bale to show what he's made of as he makes his debut against Frankfurt. Messi's on the ball now, he plays that to Griezmann. I played him up front today, he's going to take on his man here, go for the finesse, and that's straight at the keeper. And Frankfurt are moving through here, that's all too easy. We've let him through, and he's scored a goal, he's made it 1-0. And Bale's on the ball here with a chance to make it one all, and he's taken it in the number 3 shirt that he used to wear at Spurs when he as a left back, a bit of a nod to the fact that I used to play him at left back in my Real Madrid career last year, and we've made it one all. Alaba's stolen the ball here, and we've got another chance. He's going to play that across to Griezmann, and surely it's got to be 2 1, and it is. We've very quickly turned this game right around. We've taken the lead. Iron Robin's on the ball now, he's got a chance to make it 3 1, and he smashes it into the back of the net. We've got yet another goal. We're just too good. So Bale's running forward again here, he plays that out wide for Griezmann, and we've got yet another chance here. Griezmann gets around. His man, he gets around another one. He's moving between the two of them. He plays that across to Gareth Bale, and I thought that was going to be 4 1. Frankfurt have got way back into the game here, and they've taken it. They've made it 3 2. Game on. Gareth Bale's moving forward now, and he plays that to Griezmann, and we've got another chance here. Griezmann running forward. He's lost it, though, and Frankfurt have got yet another chance here, but we've got control of the ball once again. Gareth Bale gets fouled. He gets injured, and that doesn't look good. So Iron Robin's running forward again now. Can we add another goal here? Make it 4-2 with Iron Robin. He gets taken down, and how is that not a penalty? It's fine, though. It's the final whistle. It's a 3-2 victory. Gareth Bale sprained his ankle in that last game. He's out for three weeks. It's not ideal, but it could be a lot worse. Next up, then, we've got a game against Dusseldorf. I've moved Griezmann to the left wing. He did really well last game at striker, but Gareth Bale's injured, so Griezmann's back on the left. Let's go and pick up another win. Gertz has stolen the ball there. He plays that to Lewandowski. And how did he not score that? I'm not too sure, but he's made it 1-0 anyway. Iron Robin's got control of the ball here. He's gone around the Dusseldorf defence very easily. They knock him down, and that's a penalty. So up steps Leo. Can he make it 2-0? Get it past the Dusseldorf keeper. Of course he can. Alaba's stolen the ball there. He plays that forward for Lewandowski. And we've got a very good opportunity to make it 3-0 now with Lewandowski. And he's taken it. Lewandowski hasn't been scoring many of this season, but he's already got two two goals in this game and he's hungry for more. So here comes Messi running the ball down the left wing. The Dusseldorf defenders just can't handle him. He's wriggling around all of them. He's got through. They've taken him down and we've got yet another penalty. Messi may have won the penalty but Lewandowski is on for a hat trick so I'm going to let him take it. See if he can make it 4-0 and he does it. He's bagged himself the match ball. We've got a good chance here with Costa. He gets around a couple of Dusseldorf defenders. Goes for the shot. That was a terrible shot. It gets blocked and we've won a throw in. So here comes Hector Bellerin now then. He plays that to Vidal, that's off the post, I thought it was going to be 5, and that's the final whistle, we absolutely destroyed Dusseldorf there, it's a 4-0 victory, and now we're coming up against Stuttgart, so let's get out there, and let's pick up another win, Iron Robbins moving the ball down the wing here, running the ball forward, can he get a goal here, make it 1-0, it looks like he's going to, and he takes that opportunity, quality finish there from Iron Robin, and we've taken the lead, and Alexander Pato has just picked up a red card there, I wasn't expecting that at all, I thought it was a bit of a dodgy challenge, but I thought he was going to get away with a yellow, but nope, he's handed him a straight red. Messi's running the ball down the right wing now, he gets around his man, he's into the box, he gets around another one, he's got the ball back, he goes for the finesse, but he hits it straight at the keeper. Mario Gertz has got hold of it now, he plays that through to Messi, and we've got another chance here with Leo running through, can he make it 2-0? Yes, he can. So Vidal's on the ball now, moving through, he's going to go for the shot, it's going to fall for Lewandowski, and he's made it 3-0. And Alaba's stolen the ball here, he's running forward with purpose, and can we get another a goal here, make it 4-0 through David Alaba, of course we can, and that's a nice ball through from Stuttgart, and they've got a goal, but it's been ruled out for offside, and that's the final whistle, we've picked up another 4-0 victory, and for the final game of the episode, we're coming up against Zenit in the Champions League last 16, 
Gareth Bale is making his way back from injury now, so he's on the bench today, and he may well come on as a substitute. So Mario Goetze moves the ball forward to Griezmann now, and we've got another chance here with Griezmann running down the left wing. He turns his man here. He moves his way into the box. He plays that across to no one. Danny's running the ball down the wing here. He's going to get a ball over, is he? That's not a bad one. Neuer's got it covered, though. He's going to throw that out to Robin, and we've got a chance to kick off a counter-attack here with Iron Robin running forward. He's going to play that to Lewandowski. He's going to move that out wide for Griezmann. We've got a very good chance here. Griezmann gets around his man. He's moving forward with purpose. He gets around another one. He's going to go for the shot here and that's deflected over the bar. So Gertz is on the ball now. He moves that to Leo. And we've got a chance here to make it 1-0 with Leo Messi going around all the Zenit players. He goes for the shot but that's straight at the goalkeeper. So Messi's running forward now. He plays it out wide for Griezmann. Griezmann's been playing well so far. He's gone around his man once again. Can he finally get a goal here? Make it 1-0 to Bayern. No, that's a poor shot. The keeper saved it. Axel Witzel's on the ball now. We've got a tackle in there with Gertz, but he's still got control of it. We've got it back, have we? No, it's just not falling for us. They're running forward. No, he's got it covered. And how have we given away a penalty there? So up steps Witzel. Is he going to score this one? Of course he is. He makes it 1-0. So Messi's on the ball again now. He's going to play that out wide for Robin to run onto. Can we get an equaliser here with Iron Robin? He gets around his man very easily there. He gets barged into, and they've stolen the ball back. Griezmann's got control of the ball now then. He plays that to Vidal. We've got another chance here. Vidal moves it out wide for Robin. He's got a chance to equalise here. Can he take it? He goes around his man. He goes for the finesse and that gets blocked. Zenit are running the ball down the left wing here. They're going to get a ball over. That's not a bad one. It's gone through everyone, thankfully. And we've got a chance to counter here. I played that up to Lewandowski. We've got a very good opportunity here. He's going to play that to Robin, but he gets taken down and it looks like he's injured. Brilliant. Gareth Bale's been brought on now. Then he plays it out wide for Robin. And we've got another chance here. Robin gets around his man. He's into the box. He goes around another one. He's going to go for the finesse. That one saved by the keeper. Gareth Bale plays it back, but he was offside. Leo's on the ball again now, then he's going to play that to Gareth Bale, who hits that, and that's a good stop by the keeper. Alaba's running forward now. He plays it off to Leo Messi, and we've got another chance here with Messi. He's going to hit that, and he loses it. It falls to Bale, and he smashes that straight at the keeper. So here we go, moving forward once again. Vidal's on the ball now. He's going to turn his man here. He's looking for the pass. He can't find anyone. What can he do here? He turns his man again. He's into the box. He's going to go for the shot, but he can't quite make the magic happen and we've got one last chance here from 19 yards Messi's gonna take the free kick can we get it into the back of the net yes we can I think that's probably the first free kick I've scored in this series I'm so bad at free kicks but right when we needed one, we picked up the goal. Leo Messi has made it one all right at the end of the match. I am so happy with that one. I didn't think it was going to be a goal. As I said before, I'm really awful at free kicks. But on this occasion, I have smashed it into the back of the net. A pretty easy free kick to be fair, but... I'm still not very good, and I am delighted that that one's found its way into the back of the net. And as you can see from the league table then, we're 10 points ahead of Borussia Dortmund, 11 clear of Bayer Leverkusen, we've got a goal difference of plus 39, and I believe we're absolutely unstoppable. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.